All right, uh, let's look at the homework 10.1, 10.2, problem number four. All right, so let's look at the uh, uh, this uh, arithmetic sequence. All right, so uh, if you look at the difference between uh, two adjacent uh, two consecutive terms, uh, let's see, you can see that, uh, let's see, so the difference between here and there, all right, so going from here to there, uh, we can just uh, uh, find the difference. Uh, 7 over 4 minus uh, 1 half, which is, uh, let's see, common denominator is 4, so 7, and uh, 2 over 4 is the same, so 5 quarters. So this is the our A value, right? So every time you go to the next term, uh, you have a 5 fourth, uh, you add 5 fourth. All right, remember that the first term is uh, a plus b, all right? So this is the uh, 1 half. And we found out that the a is uh, 5 over 4. So I'm going to plug this guy right in here, all right? So we get um, 5 over 4 plus b, all right? So this is equal to uh, 1 half, all right? So we can find b by subtracting 5 over 4. So b is equal to uh, 1 half minus 5 over 4 and common denominator 4. So 2 minus 5. So it's a negative 3 quarters. All right. So we found the uh, uh, form. So it's going to be uh, uh, a n. a is uh, 5 over 4 n plus b, b is negative 3 over 4, right? So we found the a n, and uh, let's see, uh, a5, so this is a4, so you just have to add uh, 5 quarters. So it's going to be a 5, so it's a 22 over 4, so it's uh, 11 over 2, right? And the next one is you add another uh, 5, so it's a uh, 22 over 4, then you add another 5 over 4. So it's going to be 27 over 4. 27 over 4. All right? So uh, let's type it in. All right? So we got uh, 11 over 2 and a 27 over 4. And we found a 5 over 4 and minus three halves, uh, what was it, three, three over four, sorry about that, three over four, All right, so let's uh, double check, submit for testing, All right, it came back and we got all these guys correctly, alright, that's it, I hope that uh, this was clear.